Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. And coming up Sunday, the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast as we take a look at the week ahead and the long range. So don't forget to tune us in Sunday night at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. So we have the last of the Arctic cold because once this goes away, uh, it won't be coming back for a while. So tonight it's going to be another very cold night. Still going to be dealing with some gusty winds, so we've got wind chills that will be running down in the single digits. Most lows tonight will be in the teens. You start to go to the north in the Hudson Valley uh, and on up into parts of upstate New York and into New England. We have a fairly large area of single-digit lows uh, going clear up to Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, but that is typical. It's also very cold down in the south, particularly down the Appalachians, where we're seeing single-digit lows uh, as far south as uh, northern Georgia uh, and over into eastern Tennessee. Uh, A lot of places are going to be getting down under 5 degrees. Nashville has a forecast low, for example, of 2 above zero. So a cold night, even some below zero readings in parts of uh, Kentucky uh, and into uh, uh, into, into into Indiana. So this is a uh, cold Arctic air mass, but again, the good news is that it is going to be going away and we don't have any Arctic air to deal with anytime soon. On the satellite loop uh, going into this evening, uh, we've got some patchy clouds that uh, help to hold the temper- temperatures down today uh, along with the Arctic air mass. And uh, we've got a storm that's off the coast of the Pacific Northwest that's moving in. Uh, bringing with it uh, precipitation, and uh, that is uh, also going to be starting to, some of that energy is going to start moving eastward. We also have moisture beginning to build up in the western Gulf of Mexico and moving on up into Texas, and that's part of the next weather system that's going to come into play. Radars in the northeast, we've got some areas of snow showers going on in upstate New York. Uh, Most of this is on the light side. Uh, There are some snow showers also uh, in southern Maine, across eastern Massachusetts, northern Rhode Island, and northeastern Connecticut that are moving from north to south. But other than that, uh, precipitation east of the Rockies, uh, well, it's uh, virtually non-existent. And you see what's going on in the west. We've got rain in southern California, some heavy rains around San Diego and Los Angeles. Uh, We also have some uh, uh, moderate to heavy rain coming into northern California. And of course, this is going to create some snows up in the Sierra Nevadas and further up to the north, some patchy areas of rain into the Pacific Northwest. So rainfall over the next seven, I'm sorry, liquid precipitation over the next seven days, although in the east it's going to be mostly rain. Big rainfall amounts forecast over the next seven days from east Texas uh, into Georgia and uh, on up into the mountains of uh, North Carolina. Uh, many areas getting uh, from as much from as little as an inch and a half to as much as four or five inches of rain, even an area of five to ten inch rainfalls being indicated in southeast Texas and uh, in uh, south from southwest to northeast in the state of uh, Louisiana. So uh, the weather's calmed down, and I'm certainly taking advantage of that uh, for the last uh, couple of days. Yes, uh, The snow ending yesterday, just taking a bit of a break today. But uh, we do have this Arctic high uh, that moves in. Tomorrow will be another cold day in the east, upper 20s to around 30 for eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England, freezing temperatures for highs all the way down uh, into Georgia. Uh, but Uh, That high is going to settle off the coast. We're going to start to see warmer air trying to come up. Uh, Initially, it's going to take, it's not going to be a fast warm up. It's going to take some time because this high is very slow moving. And you see the heavy rains coming out of the Gulf of Mexico uh, and the moisture running northeast producing some freezing rain in parts of Missouri, Illinois, some snow, uh, uh, light snows as you get up around the lower Great Lakes. And you see the active weather. Uh, in the west, uh, up and down the west coast with that storminess moving inland. So with the absence of any Arctic air, over the next week to 10 days, the one thing we're going to be watching for is uh, the flow from Canada, because even though uh, it's not bringing cold air into the United States, 
uh, the jet stream is not far enough south. It is far enough south, though, to bring cold highs into eastern Canada. And that's something we're going to have to watch because uh, it, it will affect day-to-day temperatures if some of that cold air were to bleed southward. If the highs are strong enough, uh, we could see some colder air from that those highs bleeding southward. They're not uh, there's no real blocking, so the highs come in and move out. So as far as precipitation goes, in terms of precipitation type, a lot of it depends on the timing of the high and the timing of the moisture coming up. So on Tuesday, for example, as uh, this moisture comes up from the Gulf states, on the northern fringe of that, you see snow, and there's some snow there in western New York Tuesday afternoon that uh, spreads up into central and northern New England. Uh, we'll probably see a, some rain from this. It looks like initially with the f- warm front to our north that will probably hold off on the rain until sometime on Wednesday. And you see it come in here uh, and then it goes out and then there's more Gulf moisture to deal with come Thursday. And then that goes out and then another uh, ripple of low pressure comes up on Friday with some rain. And then that moves out. And so it's wonderful because it's not as if we're rain weary, (laughs) considering how it's been this winter so far uh, with these uh, big rain events. Uh, This doesn't these don't look like big rain events for eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England. uh, But, uh, you know, because the rainfall amounts, when you add up together, we're talking about maybe an inch and a half to maybe two inches. But they're spread out over time. And. Then in the longer range, you see that colder air and another cold high trying to come down, timing out with some sort of storm system that comes uh, out of the southern plains and heads to the northeast for next weekend. And uh, while on this particular run, we've got rain at the coast and snow well inland, uh, again, if it, it, a lot depends on the timing of that cold high coming down and the weather system that's going to be to our south and passing off the coast and moving on up to the northeast from there. So that's one of the things I'll probably be watching uh, in the longer term uh, and certainly we'll be keep uh, keep you up to date on this as we move through the rest of this weekend and into next week. So don't forget, we've got the Joe and Joe Weather Show tomorrow night, Sunday night at 7.35 p.m. Eastern Time. Hope you're staying warm this weekend and enjoying your weekend as best you can, and we'll see you tomorrow night.